The narrative begins with a young man meticulously marking the passing days. Trapped in an unfamiliar realm for a duration spanning 1095 days, he traverses the desert, gasping for breath. Each attempt to escape is met with pain, defeat, and despair, only for the desire to end his life to dissipate when he recalls the captivating eyes of someone offering a glimmer of hope. Determined to survive, the young man firmly plants his sword in the ground, vowing to escape the perilous surroundings. Despite the presence of formidable monsters, his resolution remains unwavering. This chosen individual craves power intensely. In the pursuit of a girl, he is unexpectedly struck by lightning. A schoolmaster and a kendo prodigy, he lacks experience in love or games like his peers. Accidentally embroiled in an incident leading to another world, he finds himself in a harsh gaming environment, a desert teeming with wild monsters, forcing him to resort to monster killing for survival. Continuing to combat monsters with sheer force, he diligently works to enhance his strength and accumulate skill points. At this juncture, our central character attains level 15 with 50 allocatable skill points, providing the option to exchange them for high-tier weapons. In the structured job system, neatly outlined upgrade paths somewhat impede his quest to defeat formidable adversaries. This marks the first instance where he experiences profound fear, feeling as though he is accompanied by a ruthless assassin. Like a cat toying with its prey, she continually observes the young man from above, despite his repeated setbacks. Undeterred by failures, the young man persistently rises each time, resolute in his commitment to continue this arduous journey. Each battle triggers a special blessing from the Latvian god, resulting in a significant boost in every attribute of the youth by over 100 points. Our protagonist, named Chen Jiliao, is a high school student grappling with textbooks, but possessing an innate ability to effortlessly solve any problem. However, he encounters a new challenge, falling for a troubled girl named Kinzai Omai, who defies teacher's orders and prefers making Jalao do her schoolwork. And with an astonished face, Jalao just wanted to do the girl's work. After Jalao received Kinzai Omai's book, she also asked to join the girl's game. As she walked away, the girl replied that she had allowed Jalao to join because they happened to need an additional player. Xiaomai also said she would arrive at the novice village at 8.30 p.m. hearing Xiaomai's answer. Jalao's heart was filled with flowers. He stepped back into the house while continuously remembering Xiaomai's ID name, Popsicle Sweetheart. The young man was so happy that he didn't pay attention to the weather forecast or the stormy weather that was blocking his way. Arriving home, Jalao was greeted by his mother, who was busy cooking dinner. The mother asked why Jalao came home early while releasing something. The young man said that they were sent home quickly due to bad weather. She said that a package had come for Jalao. The young man looked down to find a package that said Cosmos. You can see the sky is very dark. From behind the glass window of Jalao, the sky rumbled, indicating that a storm would come soon. As the weather forecaster said today, Jalao was lying on the bed holding the helmet from the Cosmos game he had just bought. He was happy that he could finally afford the most popular online VR game. At the time, there was a notification of a message that had just entered Jalau's cell phone. A message was from Mai asking Jalau to immediately enter the game because she had been waiting for him since earlier. Enthusiastically, Jalau put on a helmet on his head even though the game had not finished charging. Not long after Halau entered the system, he was given such a big welcome at the game. Then... First of all, the system describes Cosmos as a battle royale game, a themed collection of myths and legends from around the world. Jalao was asked to choose a job to start with. Jalao also chose the job as a healer, as requested by Omai. After that, he was asked to choose a free costume item as a starter gift. Since this young man was thinking about a date, he also chose a formal dress. Finally, the choice was finished after the young man put on a neat and cool black suit. While the game is loading again, a thunderstorm was heard approaching the city. Once again, the news anchor urges to turn off electronic devices to prevent unwanted things. A powerful thunderbolt hit Julao's house, creating an electric current strong enough to disturb Cosmos wires. At that time, it coincided with Chalao, who was about to enter the game. The young man's body was electrocuted and immediately vibrated violently. Not long after, Chalao's house lights went out and the young man's helmet was empty. At that time, the mother came into his son's room and asked Zhu Lao to check the cause of the sudden power failure in their house. But the adult woman was surprised to see the child's room was empty. 
When he woke up, Zhu Lao screamed. While looking around, the youth realized the transmission he had just experienced was slightly different because the young man felt a very strong electric shock. He looked at his arms as well as his body to realize he had entered the game. The zone that Zhu Lao occupied was a vast, expansive desert, and it seemed to have no end. This young man began to walk down the desert. Zhu Lao felt very hot and realized that the gaming experience felt so real. But Zhu Lao was astonished because the first transmission should take him to the novice village, not to the desert like now. Zhu Lao also tried to contact Ziao Mai from the hologram screen, but at the end... When the system finally informs that there is no player named Popsicle Sweetheart, even though it's impossible for the young man to be wrong or to forget the idea of Ziao Mai, finally, Zhi Lao decided to go straight to the novice village and look for Mai. After several hours passed, Zhu Lao's breathing became heavy from exhaustion. Zhu Lao took a break as he opened the hologram screen to view the map. And what a surprise. He didn't find a novice village on that map. He only found the location point. The first time Zhu Lao was dispatched, the young man tried to connect again, and once again, he had to be disappointed because the system said that he was outside the service area. This young man began to realize that something was wrong with the game. In his heart, Zhu Lao was complaining because the heat seemed to remove 900 sweat per hour. He was worried about fainting soon due to dehydration. This kind of situation made Zhu Lao not want to play anymore. With an irritated face, he pressed the logout button, but nothing happened. Jalau got a notification that he couldn't get out of the game. Jalau was getting more and more panicked. His face was pale as he paused while pressing the exit button, which failed. Jalau realized he was trapped in that place for triggering a strange quest named Survive. This section opens with Jalau shouting in annoyance. He was angry because he had to be trapped in that place even though he only wanted to play games with Mai. This young man sat down and pounded the sand beneath him. Jalau was amazed that he couldn't quit the game despite trying all kinds of ways. Jalau can't contact anyone. He was starting to worry about being stuck in that place forever. Eight hours later, Jalau was back walking through the desert. He realized that the mechanics of the game were the same as the real world. The temperature, dehydration, nausea, and dizziness are very real. At this rate, Jalau could die. To survive, Jalau wanted to find a water source first. While walking, Jalau also found limestone, which is usually found near springs. This young man realized a small hope for a spring of water in a rock close to his line of sight. Jalau stepped into the area without knowing that behind him was a monster with sharp teeth. Watching, it seemed that Jalau would meet his first opponent. And sure enough, when entering the cave, Jalau saw water dripping in a small pond directly below. Jalau immediately ran excitedly to the source of the spring and immediately drank as much as he could. Jalau sat back down and thought of a way to get out of the wasteland. He kept staring at the holographic map display with a serious face. He was surprised because the map only showed areas that had already been explored. Then he tried checking his status window again. Jalau sighed. Seeing his grades so low, he was worried that if he met a monster, he could only run without being able to defend himself. Then Jalau looked at the weapons or facilities he had. He took out a sword and a pair of black gloves. Jiao was a little surprised to see that the healer's initial equipment was a sword. This young man immediately put on gloves and tried his sword. Suddenly, Jia Liao's stomach growled loudly, so he planned to look for food while waiting for useful information to appear. Suddenly heard the sound of a beast growling. Zhu Lao immediately looked back and wondered what that sound was. He stepped further into the cave and found a larger room. Jiao must secure his water source, which is in the cave, while looking around. Suddenly. A large bone fell near Julao. The young man turned to the other side where the bones fell and saw a pile of more bones. So many piles of bones in the mountains. Julao picked up the bones that had fallen by his side to check. He realized he had seen bite marks left between the bones. Julao immediately panicked when he realized what those claw marks were. He intended to run and leave the place when suddenly a wild werewolf monster appeared right in front of his face. The monster almost devoured Jalau's head just like that. Luckily, Jalau managed to dodge in time. When Jalau felt safe, he received a report from the system that the monster he was facing, now named Desert Wolf, was a level 5 monster. This monster had large, sharp claws. He also has incredible speed when chasing enemies that reach 65 km hour. He watched the monster closely. Jalau realized that this monster was faster than him, 
so he couldn't escape. Instead, Jalau will be pounced on by the creature quickly. So Jalau decided to draw the sword from the scabbard to fight the monsters. The look in his eyes that were full of determination seemed to say he would rather die after losing a fight than losing by running away. Jalau swiftly approached his enemy and immediately slashed mercilessly. But the young man's sword instead vibrated because of the hardness of the monster's body. Next, we are invited to reminisce about Jalau's past. Back in high school, this young man was already the chairman of the Fengji Kendo Club. He often trains harder in the club room than others. And even though he has won many awards, that doesn't dampen his enthusiasm to continue training. Jalau is also the youngest sixth Dan Kendo player to compete in Z City, because in a world where the law of the jungle prevails, the winner is the king, and you don't even know how terrible your next comrade will be. Jalau thought about this as he dodged the wolf attack again. Again, Jalau turned to punch his opponent, but missed. He must be hit by an enemy attack and fell into the rocks of the cave. When he got up again with a rush of breath, Jia Liao was amazed at the situation he had to face at this time. He was confused that the attack with his sword had no effect at all. Then, a holographic screen appeared and announced that Jalau's attack was ineffective because the wolf had such a strong defense. The system also informed that the creature's weakness was in its stomach. From this, Jalau concluded that attacks other than the stomach would have no effect at all. Jalau was already cornered at the edge of the cave. He was starting to get confused, thinking that if he just passively defended, he would soon die. Pointing a sword at the monster, Jalau started to wonder if he would die this soon. Meanwhile, the notification on the hologram kept telling me that Jalau's energy was running out. At a crucial moment like this, Jalau remembered that the creature had a weakness in the stomach. A crazy idea popped into Jalau's head. He immediately ran towards the monsters that came back to attack him. With full confidence, Jalau will try his crazy way. Jalau's right shoulder was bitten off by the monstrous creature. Blood was shed. However, this time, even Jalau was not to be outdone. He also stabbed the creature through its back. It was obvious that the creature couldn't survive Jalau's attack. After the creature died, Jalau pushed the creature off his sword. Jalau was quite happy about his victory this time. His plan to let the creature bite him and let his guard down succeeded in giving Jalau an opening to stab the monster. Even so, Jalau was already weak because the monster's attack just now was too strong. It was at this time that a holographic screen appeared, announcing that Jalau had successfully killed the desert wolf. So he gets a lot of points and immediately rises to level 5. Jalau's body quickly gave off a bright light, making the young man's body recover. As before, he felt more energized. Now Jalau realized that after leveling up, the wounds on his body healed instantly. Jalau was surprised to see the notification. He saw a variety of great weapons in the shop. What do you think Jalau will buy to increase his strength? Chun Jalau said it was still in the game after all, so he would still gain experience after killing monsters. After that, this young man can upgrade with the skill points obtained to increase his attributes. Chen Julio thought about this while sitting leisurely on a large flat rock. He was surprised when he saw the hologram screen because there was a hidden shop option. He immediately pressed the unlock button and saw a lot of weapon attributes that had amazing abilities. The shop sells daily necessities such as medicine, weapons, armor, home appliances, and electronics. The system reminds us that a separate level is needed to increase inventory, and purchases in stores will also consume player levels. Chen Juliao swiped the hologram screen, thinking that he could unlock all the services once he had a high level. But the young man was astonished and wondered who would want to buy a phone in a game. Then he realized that the mercenary system should be opened when he reached level 100, so he tried to open it. Then suddenly the system does the job by bringing out a beautiful woman who is the holographic form of the selected service. Chen Jalau was initially taken aback because the woman with the gun immediately pointed the sword right at his face. But then this young man realized that the figure before him was just some kind of holographic projection. Then many holographic circles appeared on the ground. From the circle appeared several figures with different skills and armor types. The system popped up and reminded us that with Chen Liao's current level, he could only open common. Chen Liao complained angrily at the system. Because he already knew such a small stipulation, he didn't want the system to remind him to open some weird mercenary. Chen Liao ended up just opening the daily necessities department to pick up sweet buns and drinking water stock. But just by opening those two things, 
Chen Ji Lao already lost five levels of his. Chen Ju Lao was now sitting down enjoying the food and thought that for the time being, he could use the level he had obtained to turn it into food and drink. But he would do it anyway just because of an emergency like now. Chen Zhe Lao then summoned the system to display the skill points just now. Immediately, the system showed Chen Ji Lao's status window. This young man realized that even though his status had been restored, the conditions for using the skill were still unclear, and the point part cannot be changed after use. Chen Jie Liao is aware that the various attributes on the holographic screen will certainly have an effect on determining his future destiny. HP status determines the player's health. MP determines the number of magical attacks that can be issued. Strength status determines physical strength. Stamina status determines endurance. And agility determines Chen Ju Lao's agility. This young man realized that even though the wolf beast he had just killed was only five levels different, its strength and speed were definitely not on par with him. Chen Jie Liao realized that if he met a monster that was even stronger, he had to excel in speed and attack power. So Chen Jie Liao deliberately added several abilities at once. Chen Zhu Lao decided he would add five points to the vitality ability to ensure his health, then add ten strength points to guarantee the damage dealt to monsters. The remaining few points added to agility. This youth could instantly feel an extremely powerful effect within his body. His whole body felt filled with energy and became very light. Chen Zhu Lao smiled as he realized the feeling of getting stronger was actually very pleasant. Suddenly, several wolf monsters appeared at the mouth of the cave. Chen Zhi Liao immediately got into a stance and thought that this was the right time to try out the effects of his increased strength. This time, with full confidence, Chen Ji Lao jumped at the wolf beasts and asked them to come forward because today he was willing to serve all the wolf beasts in their lair. With a single slash of his sword, Chen Ji Lao succeeded in having one of the wolf beasts' heads. Chen Ji Liao realized that his attack power had become amplified to ignore the wolf beasts' strength. With its mouth wide open, one of the wolf beasts tried to attack Chen Ji Liao from behind, but this young man managed to turn around and slash the monster behind him with one strike. Chen Jia Liao was aware that enhancing various attributes also strengthened his swordsmanship. With this kind of confidence, Chen Ji Liao jumped into the crowd of wolf beasts. While attacking them blindly, Chen Ji Liao's blade slashed through all the monsters so easily, as if they were nothing, until finally Chen Jia Liao managed to meet the amount XP, and Git managed to level up quickly. The system appeared and gave congratulations because Chen Jia Liao managed to rise to level 15, with the acquisition of 24,000 XP and 75 usable skill points. Chen Zhe Lao breathed a sigh of relief as he sat comfortably atop the pile of wolf monsters. Chen Zhe Lao smiled, realizing that it was true that after upgrading his abilities, he could kill monsters more easily. Love the Manhua? Subscribe for more! Your support makes it all possible! Hit subscribe now!